Have you ever gotten the urge to go and get your neighbor's mail and kind of rifle through it and see what they're getting? Or do you ever wonder what that package is sitting on your neighbor's stoop? I do. And even more, when I see YouTubers say they're doing a mailbag video, I get kind of excited. It's sort of an interesting little sneak peek into their lives. So this week, I thought I would do another mailbag video since our last one went over well. And since then, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in. So without further ado, let's snoop in the Clean My Space mailbag. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. A heads up, all of the links to the products I'm gonna talk about, I'll put in the description box down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you like snooping in the Clean My Space mailbag. If you haven't seen my videos on how to keep your food fresher for longer, I totally recommend that you check them out. But The Swag is a company out of Australia that sent me some of their swag, which also helps keep food fresher for longer. In this case, your produce. So what you do is you run the swag underwater, get it a little bit damp, wring it out, then you put your produce in there, you roll it up, and you put it in your crisper drawer. You leave it there, you sprinkle some water on it every now and then, and they say that it's supposed to keep your produce lasting way fresher for longer. I'm really excited to try these out. We did a video last time and talked about a product, the over-the-door bag holder slash cloth holder that wasn't available in stores yet. That's gonna be out in June, but another product that I loved that these guys sent out was this. It's an over-the-shelf basket. It's made by Spectrum Diversified, and check it out. You take this little basket and you slide it over your cabinet shelf, and it basically doubles your space. And you guys know me, I am a sleuth when it comes to finding extra storage space. So when I saw these two, they came in two different sizes, I got really excited because I'm already thinking about all of the additional storage opportunities in my kitchen. Vitamins, bulk foods, grains, yeah, I got a lot of thinking to do. For those of you who think toilet bowl brushes are disgusting, they are. This is your solution. It's the toilet bowl cleaner of the future. It's called Sani Made. It's made in Denmark by a company called Hygienic, and it is super cool. It's essentially a silicone paddle that is odor and bacteria resistant. It's got little ridges on the bottom. It's flexible, so it can actually scrub, but it can slide around your toilet. And the cool thing is it cleans your toilet, but it doesn't cling on to anything. And in the bathroom, cling-ons are not a good thing. So once you're done cleaning, you just give it a good rinse, you drip dry it, you put it back in its holder, no odors, no bacteria, no cling-ons, it's nice and clean. This will be coming out in fall of 2017, so keep an eye for it then. I'm always talking about dryer balls because I believe in them. They make a difference when you're drying your clothes. They help dry them faster, they help reduce linting, they help reduce wrinkling, and of course, they help remove static. Now, these are Nelly's All Natural Scented Dryer Balls. This is the lavender scent, and a lot of people will just add some drops of essential oils to their wool dryer balls, but you can also purchase one. This one keeps its scent for 50 loads, which is great. And once it runs out, you can just reinvigorate it with some more essential oils. Now you probably know the name Kohler because you've seen them on faucets or bathroom fixtures before. That's just a classy way of saying toilets. But Kohler has actually come up with a really interesting line of kitchen products that are sort of accessories that help you function better in the kitchen. And they sent us a giant shipment. So either I could show you all the stuff or I could show you some of my favorites. The first thing that they sent is this silicone drying mat. And it can be used for a number of different things from drying dishes to protecting the bottom of your sink to even a giant trivet, which is quite handy. And I also like that it can roll up easily for storage inside a drawer and it's easy to wash and take care of, doesn't cling on to odors, all that good stuff that comes along with using silicone. Now, another product that they sent me, which I am crazy about, this is so smart. It's this little sink side brush that you can use. It's got bristles on one side so you can sweep crumbs into your sink. And on the other side, it's got a squeegee. So if you've made a spill, you can just sweep all of that liquid right into your sink. Simple solution, but really, really handy. And they've also sent me this little dish scraper, which is a multiple side scraper. So when I used to work in restaurants, there used to be a guy in the dish pit and he would stand there with like a giant squeegee-like thing and just shove food into the garbage. It's really not 
um, good to see that, <laughs> especially when you work in a restaurant, you see that all the time. It's actually pretty unappetizing, but this is sort of a mini version of that. You know, it can really help speed up dish time after a meal when you don't want to spend time scraping a whole bunch of crud off of your dishes. So it's a simple little solution, but it does make a difference. I do a lot of online shopping and I know a lot of you guys do as well. Plus, given that we are at the CMS HQ, we get a lot of boxes. So I'm sure you can imagine we have a lot of experience breaking down boxes. And typically when that's done, we use a plain old box cutter with a razor blade and that has its downfalls. A, super dangerous, kind of overwhelming and scary. B, the blade can get stuck sometimes, so it's really hard to maneuver. And because it's just a straight edge, you can't really get leverage or create a sawing action. You really can only go in a straight line. There are lots of little challenges that come up, and while it's not something that you think about all the time, when a better solution comes along, it certainly is something to get excited about. And that's why when I was sent the Canary Box Cutter, I did get excited. Get this, the Canary Box Cutter has a double-sided serrated edge, which means imagine cutting bread with a serrated knife instead of with a regular, say, chef knife. You can cut bread so much easier, you have so much more leverage and control, and that's exactly what you get with this. Not only is it easier to cut through tape and packing straps and all that kind of stuff because you can get that sawing motion going, you have a lot more control over your cuts, and you can even cut shapes, like if you want to make a little house for your cats which I might have done before. It also has this cool non-stick coating on it, which means that while you're cutting, it won't get stuck in the tape, and it also doesn't have tape and glue stuck on it, which means that it'll last you for a lot longer. So if you are in the market for a new box cutter, definitely check this one out. This is the Fuller Clothes Brush, and kind of looks like a weird shaped toilet bowl brush type thing, but it's actually not used for the toilet at all. It's a lint brush and Fuller's been around since 1906. So these guys know a thing or two about brushes and lint and dust and everything like that. So the idea with this is it's got this curved shape so that it can easily fit over your shoulder. And these bristles are soft enough that they can pick up lint and dust on your clothing or even your upholstery. Uh, without ruining it, but it really does a great job at getting rid of lint. So I also like how it comes with this little leather tie so you can hang it in your closet and just keep it by the front door so that you can quickly brush off before you step out, especially if you have pets like me and you constantly are wearing your cat lady badge on all of your clothes. And I also like the fact that it's not a sticker, so you don't have to waste something every time you want to remove lint. And finally, there was this electric charging fabric lint remover that was sent to me and I was really excited to use it, but then I saw the warning. You know, we receive so many things here and more than half of it will never make it into our mailbag videos because the products are just, well, not to be rude, but we just don't even want to tell you about them because they're not worth it. And I'd love to know in the comments down below, what product have you bought online that has been a major fail. Like you've ordered it online, you've waited, you're so excited, it gets to you and it doesn't look like or it doesn't function the way the website said it would and you're just downright disappointed. So let me know that story in the comments down below. There are two other videos that you can check out over here and if you want to visit our website cleanmyspace.com just click this button over there. There's a button down there that lets me know you care so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.